Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see how to use Google Analytics in your React app. I have created my website in a React and we are going to do the demo of. So we are seeing like how Google Analytics works on React application. In this, I am going to create a Google account, Google Analytics account, and I am adding some events on our React application. Like whenever user click on any uh, any questions, we are tracking that event, and also whenever he clicks on any particular link, we are tracking those those events. So first of all, we have to create the Google Analytics account. So go go to Google and search Google Analytics. Click on Google Analytics. I have already created account, so you might see the some entries there. And this is my account. Go to click on admin. You will able to see all the create properties. I have already created some properties, but for new, we are going to create a coding world as our new property and we are selecting all as it is but click on the show advanced options and click on universal analytics property where we are going to give us a give a like this is my sample website okay remove that https and i am keeping both google analytics 4 and universal properties analytics properties because from 1 July 2023, we are removing the universal analytics property and keeping G4. Other property I am keeping as it is. Click on the create and it will create your. It will create a stream name, measurement ID, stream ID and other properties. But we don't want stream ID. We need tracking info so tracking info you will select by choosing the property universal property from property drop down so go to property drop down click on the universal coding world ua and if you click on tracking info below there is a tracking info if you click on tracking info you will able to see the universal sorry tracking code copy this tracking code we need this in our react app so i have copied this on my local you can add directly this tag into your html app also no problem this universal we need to copy into our app.js that i will show in our next step so i am copying this all things and putting into the local file now come to the our react app in react app before implementing google analytics you need to import some module into your react app and for that you have to enter the npm i save react ga so once this model imported in your react you have to import react j in your app.js which is your main component which is your first component so and when you import react.js you have to initialize with your in your with a tracking id so in tracking id i have copied which we have copied from our google analytics tag and this is for initialization initialization purpose now if you want to track some events on your question submit button then i have one quiz component in that there is a submit method and that submit method i am tracking where i am copying that event in react.js we have event timing model view these are the supporting metrics provided by the google analytics so from that i am using an event in event i am providing a category then action and label so this is for the sample purpose and those will getting tracked in our google analytics now i will build this project and deploy on your deploy on my testing domain then we will check so i have deployed that on 
game.digitalco.in this is my testing domain let's get started by clicking on the submit button of our question or quiz so when i click on submit button all those metrics should be captured in our google analytics so let wait for a few second yeah it's showing into our local host like which is my so let's go into the given tracking id which is a ga hyper one this is a my tracking id which i am using in my react app click on the all site and you are able to see that active user is one and other metrics as they have given like a, on which page how many users came and how many I just went how many sessions are there and bounce rate also you are able to see there okay and also you can able to view the events happening on your website by clicking on your real time metrics and if you click on real time metrics there are events in our case there should be some events yeah in last 5 minutes we have one event and that is if you see below there is a test submit and label so these are the events which are created by us and all are capturing into our google analytics so in this way you can able to track all your <coughs> activity webs done by the user on your website this is a nice feature which is provided by the google i think hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends thank you